I've actually been awake for quite a few hours now. I am sorting out flights for Bangkok, Chiang Mai, and possibly a secret little trip with my secret guest who I haven't revealed yet, but you'll find out very soon. So I'm on the web, airasia.com, checking out Knock Air, seeing where I can get the best prices from. I've only got a few more days until I'm back in Thailand, so I want to make the most of my time here. Sasha isn't with me right now, she's gone out with Jill to take her to the stable. She's got a horse. A tile from the roof fell through the window of her car, so she needs a lift, so Sasha's taking her down there and she's having a coffee. And I'm just sorting out these kind of things. I think I might as well reveal where I'm thinking of going. When my secret guest and I arrive in Thailand, we're thinking to go to Siem Reap, see Angkor Wat. I'm seeing flights for about £100 each return, so it's not too bad. Hopefully we will have a good time when we go there. I've never really been that interested in Cambodia, but my guest is, so it makes sense to do this now. I wonder how many of you know who's actually coming with me. <laughs> I'm sure some of you have worked out already, but I will reveal it on the day when we're travelling. It's not the nicest looking weather out there today, so I'm glad I'm not outside. It has been very windy since we've been back in the UK. I don't think there's been one day when it hasn't been like this. I've been speaking with my Thai friend Nung, and he has been sending me photographs of my car, which is almost ready to go and almost ready to get back on the road. So soon we'll be reunited with the Ford Escort Mark 1, which I'm quite looking forward to because I haven't been driving a car now for almost a month and I love driving so I'm looking forward to getting back behind the wheel. My leather seat has been repaired. Do you remember that horrible hole that was right there on the driver's side? It's now fixed. He's drained out all that khaki oil that was in there from when I had the engine rebuilt and haven't had it serviced properly since. Changed my oil filter for me, put some good quality oil in the engine. And if any of you have been following our journey for a few weeks or a few months, you'll know about my windscreen wiper situation, which has now been upgraded. He had to rebend the leaf springs on the rear, so it's a little bit jacked up on the back. <laughs> Looks a bit funny, but those leaf springs were getting a bit flat. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get round to absolutely everything I asked him to do, because there was quite a lot of things there, but at least it's driving properly now. He's sorted out the prop shaft and stuff, and done some bits and pieces that needed to be done for a long time. I'm looking forward to getting back in that car and driving to Bangkok, to be honest. Hello. So one of Jay's friends is coming around to see him in a little while, but they're just gonna be talking boy stuff and cars and things like that. So I'm going to see my dad and to help him out with some house stuff. There's a lot of stuff to be cleared for my gran and granddad's house, so I'm gonna go around there and give him a hand and sort some stuff out. So that's where I'm gonna be going. I'm here, just parked. It is so windy today. I was gonna walk around here because it's not far, but it's so blowy out there. I'd rather drive. Anyway, here now, let's go and see my dad. Hi. So I'm here and I'm getting straight to work. I am on book duty. This is the situation. Both my gran and granddad loved to read and there is tons of reading material in this room that now has to be boxed up and sold really. So that's what I'm doing today or this afternoon. Help my dad out to clear the house up a little bit. and I are back together again after oh, okay. quite a few hours and yeah. we're just sitting down editing. Sasha's just uh, finished a vlog so I'm gonna watch it see how it looks because I haven't been watching them recently because we've been so busy yeah. and soon I'm gonna have to leave this beautiful lady behind which we're not happy about but has to happen need to get back to eating the dog. All right let's watch this vlog. Quite a nice day in London today. Okay. The vlog is exporting and Sasha and I have decided that 
it's time for us to settle down and watch some TV. So we're going to watch Vikings, the last episode. Quite looking forward to it because I really like that series. And then I'm probably going to go to bed because tomorrow we have to do some shopping. I need to buy a new suitcase. So that's the plan for now. You ready for Vikings? Yeah. It's time to relax and spend some time together. Because soon you won't be here. You'll just be you me. Won't be here. Well, you won't be here with me. I'm gonna be here. You ain't coming. You'll <laughs> just be me and Eden. Oh. I'm very much looking forward to seeing this puppy. Seeing this puppy very soon. Eden the dog. We have both missed Eden very much. Very, very much. Every time we see a cocker spaniel or any form of dog. We just think about Eden pretty much all night. Alright, you're getting all emotional about Eden oh, now. I love Eden! I can't believe it's your last day tomorrow. Not! It is. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's gone quick. Yeah. You have all failed! I will not! There's no more discussion. We shall meet the freaks tomorrow. <sighs> We are going to go to sleep now. Tomorrow is Jay's last full day in England before flying back to Thailand and to Eden. If you are missing Eden and you can't wait a couple more days to see her, then check out this picture. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and you can check this orange button here to see how you can support 8 Miles From Home on Patreon. Check out our Instagram and don't forget to subscribe as well to the 8 Miles From Home channel. That's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.